Hey guys, it's Douglas, and today I'm here with you, and I'm going to talk to you about dating. Alright, so yesterday was Valentine's Day, and I was thinking that I was very lonely since I don't have anyone. Well, I have people, I have my family, I just don't have a relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend. So I thought, since I already have had a long-term relationship, I thought that if you are feeling lonely like I was, then you could listen to my tips on dating. I had so many tips, but I have narrowed it down to these six. Also, I am no expert in dating, so you might not want to follow these, or if you want to, you can. It doesn't really matter. These tips might not work on everyone. I'll put some links in the description telling you guys what website got inspiration for them, and so maybe you can find your own. Hmm. Also, before we start, I would like to remind you to please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and enjoy my content. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so tip number one. If you are wondering if someone is into you, you can make eye contact with them. Alright, so when you make eye contact with someone, you can easily make sure they are interested because pupils expand by 45%. Can you guys believe that? Oh, wonder if mine's expanding because I'm looking at you. They expand by 45% when you're looking at someone you love. So this is a non-intrusive way to confirm if someone is into you and it's very helpful if you don't want to be awkward. Alright, tip number two. During your first time meeting someone, ask them about their hobbies. Obviously, it is necessary to get to know someone, especially if you're going to be looking for a long-term relationship. A fun way to do this is to ask someone about their hobbies and what they like to do with their spare time since it will let you see what type of person they really are. Not only will this make conversation, but it will also allow you to get to know the person. Alright, tip number three. Get their phone number. This is a very awkward thing to do, trust me, and sometimes it will result in you getting shot down. If you're afraid of getting turned away, an easy way to do this this is to take a selfie with the person, like I'm doing right now, and then ask them to send it to you. So you get the text message and then you have their number without having to ask or show that you're into them. Or if you're feeling brave, you can just go up and ask them. Sometimes that works better. I mean, it really depends on the type of person you are. I can tell you that I'm very awkward. Tip number four. Make sure that the phone number is legitimate. I've had this happen to me so many times. Just kidding. I haven't. So you finally get their phone number, but you soon realize it's not their phone number. An easy way to make sure that the phone number is real is to read the number back to them incorrectly. If they correct it, then you know it's legitimate because obviously you got it wrong and they're giving you their phone number but if they don't correct it then you know that they don't really care what they just told you and they're just trying to get you away from them alright tip number five carefully observe the person's behavior if you do not want to ask about the person's hobbies then observe their behavior see how they treat waiters or employees at a restaurant this will allow you to know if they have good character or a bad character and you don't want anyone with bad character because they are terrible final tip Tip number six, get rid of any sexual evidence. If you do not take dating slow, I take dating slow so I wouldn't know, you might end up finding, um, well, you're in, you're having sex. So an easy, and you might end up with a hickey, which nothing wrong with that. But it's embarrassing. These are very obvious bruises from a lover biting or sucking your skin and give away that you were sinning. Yeah, that's what I thought, that you were sinning with someone. It's very embarrassing because if you're a child of God like me, you don't like to be sinning. An easy way to get rid of them is to take a cold spoon and place it on it for a few minutes and it should go away so you don't have to worry about getting embarrassed. And there you have it. Those are my top six dating tips that I suggest you take into consideration. I feel as, the, as if these are very helpful. Now remember, these dating tips worked for me. That does not mean they're gonna work for you. So you might want to research dating tips or develop them by trial and error, which probably works a lot more than this because everyone's different. Alright, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!